all right so we have been able to create playlist so far you now by searching a video like if i do laravel docker i go to this particular video and i can see a list of my playlists i can create a new playlist so on and so forth now i do need to look at those playlists and also you know when we will try to you know auto play our entire playlist we need to go to one particular playlist right so today why don't we do a simple thing we will create the listing of our playlists which we have created along with the number of videos which are there in each playlist so if i go to my sublime this is you know um basically what we are going to do so the first thing is we are going to create a view component so let's do that inside my youtube folder okay i will create my first view component which is my playlists dot view sorry okay um this is fine i'll just say dev my playlist wrapper okay this is where we will have the entire uh listing and let's say i have a data attribute created attribute in my data i'll have return object playlists it's going to be an array which we will um you know loop through in our template so all right so i have my basic markup i am you know creating a card 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 default i have the header the body tag with the table now this should render my node watch is running so let me see um oh okay i can't see it right now because um i haven't done anything to get that page so import okay that should uh do and then i'll say my new url is going to be playlists we'll load this component okay so once this is done what i can do is inside my nav blade so this is if it is guest and why don't i just for now stick this i'll have url which is slash home and then i'll have slash play lists right um and so if we are lucky we should have a link which takes me to a page a route rather where the table is empty okay so what have we done we have created the component we have created the nav link now we are going to reuse the api so what has happened is if we look at our api we already have user slash playlists this is being used when let's say i go to one particular video and i do add i'm loading this playlist right so we can use that but yeah we need some additional data points so let's look at what we are getting first of all okay i'll come to the created part i'll need to import axios okay and in here user/playlists 
okay let's look at the data what we are getting okay so i'll hit save come over here open my console and we are getting inside our data two objects that's fine but we have a problem we don't have the uh, entries um, reference if if we go to our database what happens is if you see i have the playlist and i have playlist entries now i don't need the count right so i have for example playlist one has three videos whereas playlist two has only one so i need that now let's look at what we have so far we have our okay it was indexing okay so we have our entries right which says that playlist has many entries which is fine we can use that in api.php we are saying playlist controller index method is being called we come over here so what do we have let's format it a bit and see what is going on so we are saying this playlist object where user id is the current user id order by name and then get fine we can do a simple modification we can say you know you are whatever you are doing is fine but then whatever you are loading you load with entries right if i'm so let's yes let us steal this so with entries is what we want and do we need to do it order order by name i think we should do it order by updated ad because most of my playlists which are you know recent should come up on top um i'll you know i mean i don't think users will have more than uh, four or five playlists so it is better that we don't do a sort by name but rather sort by the recency okay so let's hit refresh and see what we are getting now so we have the two playlist object but now we have the entries and in that we get the video ids this is the first one in this i should have three which is correct so things are very simple now we will go to our um, view component we know that this dot playlists where is playlists right can be response dot data okay and once this is done i can do v4 in playlists and then i'll happily go over playlist dot name playlist dot entries dot length and then we have playlist dot updated at and the last one we will keep it as it is right now we haven't done the apis for this one right now so yeah this is pretty much okay i have some marker problem looks like i deleted that by mistake so yeah you know we have this page where we are able to see the video count for each playlist which we have created so let's say we go into laravel repositories i should get my video yeah this is my video so i'll add it to my playlist which is laravel fine i'll close i'll go to this url and i see now it has two videos right so i guess we are in business and uh, now we can slowly start looking at how we can have you know, the playlist view page will show all the videos and then an autoplay button which you know goes on creating 
video i mean playing videos one by one but yeah so far you know that's what we have done you know very simple simple steps which we have taken to create this video manager application where you know initially we were able to use youtube api to search for videos um you know use um the play button and to play it have comments and now we have the new functionality where we can add to a playlist and we can see the playlists as well very soon we will add the view the edit and the delete of individual playlists so that we can happily hit a play button and then it will start continuously playing one song after i mean one video after the other thanks for watching guys if you like the videos and the series do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel